This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Beth Jones. And I'm Peter Dubois. First tonight, we take you to Ellsworth, where a crash resulted in multiple charges against a woman. Ellsworth Police Department is investigating this crash, which happened just after 2 o'clock this morning. Police say Megan Rich of Ellsworth was driving on High Street when she purposefully allegedly drove her car into the building at 163 High Street, hitting propane tanks and destroying the wall. Rich was later charged with aggravated criminal mischief, refusing to submit to arrest, assaulting an officer violation of bail conditions and possession of scheduled drugs. She was taken to the Hancock County Jail. Meanwhile, ranked choice vote tabulation continued today in the second congressional district race between Jared Golden and Bruce Poliquin. Officials hand counted ballots from Bangor, Hendon and Anson after memory sticks containing votes from those municipalities did not function properly. A winner is expected to be announced sometime this evening. Well, a global nonprofit that endorses fisheries as sustainable in the hopes of influencing consumers has announced plans to temporarily suspend their endorsement of the Maine lobster fishery, despite acknowledging that the fishery does meet their sustainability standards. Through the use of their blue fish label, the Marine Stewardship Council says they make it easy for everyone to identify and choose certified sustainable wild caught seafood. The group announced the suspension of their certification of the Maine lobster fishery, but at the same time acknowledged that the fishery meets sustainability and environmental impact standards and is unlikely to cause harm to right whales. But the organization said it's unable to certify the fishery because they believe it does not meet federal regulations due to ongoing litigation. Maine Lobstermen's Association Vice President says that a that says that's a contradiction and as of last june following their five-year msc audit there was a 240 page document stating that the fishery should remain certified this is just another reason why the maine lobstermen's association's lawsuit needs to succeed and why we need to give it everything we have because things like this keep happening and this is just death by a thousand cuts really i mean this has been a year where we've had a very low lobster price. Um, expenses are the highest they've ever been. So this has been a very lean year. And, you know, this MSC certification is definitely going to be reflected in boat price. Well, the suspension is effective December 15th, 2022, at which point Maine Lobster will not be eligible to be sold as MSC certified sustainable or carry the MSC Bluefish label on products. Now, the Gulf of Maine Lobster Fishery was, was first certified with MSC in 2016. We have reached out to the council for comment and we are awaiting a response. Some Mainers will be experiencing an increase to their electric bills this winter. Our Devin Dagnalt has more. The Maine Public Utilities Commission has officially announced the new standard supply rate of both Central Maine Power and Versant Power. Philip Barlett, chairman of the PUC, says that residential users will see a 49% increase in the supply portion of their energy bill. Barlett says CMP's residential users can expect to see their bill increase by about $32 on average, and Versant users can expect an increase of $24. That this is the result of volatile fossil fuel prices and international conditions that are beyond uh, anyone's control. So unfortunately, uh, you know, in New England and in Maine, customers are getting squeezed uh, when it comes to fossil fuel use. Both Republicans and Democrats have addressed the rate increase, saying that it puts a strain on many Mainers' budgets. Both parties plan on presenting bills to the legislator to aid those most affected. Barlett says that although prices seem to only be increasing, there is hope that in the near future they may start to drop. As we bring on more renewables, uh, more storage, uh, hopefully get some additional transmission interconnections with other regions, the hope is that the supply prices will be substantially um, less volatile and lower in the future. If you have any concerns about affording energy after the rate increase, contact Maine Housing or visit mainehousing.org for their home energy assistance program. In Bangor, I'm Devin Dagnall, reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22.
Well, a new proposal is on the table for some employees at MSAD 49 that have been working without a contract for eight months now. The union representing more than 100 positions of, of ed techs and other speech and occupational therapists within the schools says they've been without a contract since March. And until today, they felt like they haven't seen any movement. So they've planned a show of solidarity by asking the community to show up to the Board of Education meeting tomorrow night and support them in their fight for more affordable health insurance and better treatment. Today, the union received a proposal from the school district. We we're glad to hear that. You know, that's a, that's a good news. You know, we feel like we've like they've uh, they've finally taken taken that step and we feel it's a move in the right direction. The union plans to meet tomorrow to look over that proposal. Mixer says although he's optimistic, they have a ways to go and still plan to attend the board meeting. Well, the winter weather caused slick conditions on Maine's roadways today, and that made for a busy day for law enforcement. Matthew Jaroncek got to take a ride along with Holden police officers who shared some valuable information. There's no question snow is beautiful, but can also be dangerous for motorists. As Mainers experienced the first snowfall of the season, some drivers were affected by the harsh weather conditions. There have been cars off the road. There have been uh, minor accidents throughout Penobscot County, it looks like, since this morning. Holden Police Lieutenant Eddie Benjamin says they see more crashes during heavily traveled times like the morning commute. In the morning, you know, people going to work between like 7 and 9 o'clock. We see uh, a good number of crashes at that time. And the same happens between 4.30 and 6 o'clock, people coming back uh, home from work. The officers shared their best advice on how to navigate the slick conditions. The big thing is to give yourself extra time if you're if you're commuting to work, if you're going to school in the early morning. Instead of rushing to get to work, give yourself extra time. Look at the weather forecast the night before and, and then find out, is there the possibility I may be delayed? Slow down and pay attention to what you're doing. Take the extra couple minutes and slow down. Pay attention and be safe. Matthew Jaroncic, ABC7 and Fox 22. Those are messages definitely worth repeating every year. The first snowfall is always a busy day for law enforcement yeah. with, you know, slick conditions on the roadways. Even though we've driven in them year after year, it just seems like this is kind of what happens. So, right. you know, yeah, you can't you can't say it enough that people need to take extra time and be cautious. Yeah, you really can, especially with days like today where, you know, we got a, a big mix. You know, we have yeah. some snow and some freezing rain and then, you know, things that melt tend to refreeze again when the temperatures drop. So still mm -hmm. uh, having to be cautious going forward, too, as, as we're seeing those temperatures fall yeah, once again especially at least in the next day. Mm -hmm. So let's turn things over and take a first look at our forecast and see what's next. Thank you so much, Beth and Peter. Happy Wednesday. Our first weather is brought to you by Scott's Recreation. Locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. All right. So what a wintry mess outside today. We do have some winter storm warnings in effect until 1 a.m. on Thursday and some winter weather advisories in effect same thing until 1 a.m. on Thursday as more four-letter word snow is back in the forecast. So it finally feels like winter, folks. A lot of precipitation in the area. The blues and the darker blues indicate some snow and some heavier snow up north. And then some mixing of rain and snow, even a little bit of freezing rain and sleet. And then some rain closer to the coast. Here in Bangor, we had a little bit of snow earlier. Then it transitioned into a bit of rain and snow. What a mess outside. That's why we have some low visibilities all across the state. Anywhere from a mile to two to three, maybe four miles in some locations where rain and snow is coming down at a lighter pace. But temperatures were cold. We only reached those mid-30s outside today. But take a look just up north. 20s and 30s as high temperatures with some snow. It is really starting to feel like winter. Tonight, though, temperatures will continue to drop below freezing into the upper 20s to low 30s. Beth and Peter? All right. All righty. Thanks so much, Conrad. And coming up next on ABC 7 News at 6, on National Botox Day, a local doctor aims to set the record straight regarding the use of the medicine. And an event tomorrow night offers a rare chance to look into the minds of women from the 19th and 20th century. We'll have those stories and much more when ABC 7 News at 6 comes back. You've probably seen those ads on TV with the out-of-state 800 number that look like information from Medicare. Some even suggest that your zip code will get you more benefits or even money back. You guessed it, those ads are misleading. 
So don't call that out-of-state 800 number when your help is right here at home. Do what I did and call the Senior Planning Center. They have trusted professionals all over Maine. Call the Senior Planning Center at 223-6565. That's 223-6565. Hey, it's Eric from Green Bear 420. We've been in business since 2010 and going strong, so stop in and check us out. We specialize in glass art by over 100 local artists and even have live glass blowing. Plus, we carry incense, novelties, t-shirts, and hard-to-find items. We have tons of local products for the tie-dye wearing person in your circle of friends. Come see us at 531 Moosehead Trail in Newport. And remember, Green Bear 420, it's not just a store, it's a lifestyle. Welcome to my digestive system. It's pretty common here with a line probiotic. You see, your gut has good and bad bacteria. And when you get off balance, you may feel it. The bloating, the gas. But Align helps me trust my gut again. Plus, it's recommended by doctors nearly two times more than any other probiotic brand. Just one a day naturally helps promote a balanced gut and soothe occasional bloating, gas, and discomfort. Align Probiotic. Welcome to an Align Gut. At Home Kitchen Bath and Flooring in Dover Foxcroft are proud members of the Flooring Network here in Maine. We have our flooring installers on staff ready for you and your custom flooring project. With over 50 years of combined experience, we'll work with you from start to finish, including demo and cleanup. Backed by the Flooring Network's state-of-the-art warehouses, we have a massive inventory to provide you with the best value and fit any flooring budget you may have. So stop in, meet our flooring experts, and see what we can do to make you feel at home. Nobody likes to talk about health insurance. It's complicated, expensive, and stressful. But when you join a nonprofit health insurer, you finally have someone in your corner. Someone who not only knows how hard it is out there, but someone who genuinely wants to make it all easier. Easier to enroll, easier to understand, easier to pay for. Because when you put people over profits, life is just better. Get a quote today at healthoptions.org. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. The U.S. believes the missile that killed two people on a Polish farm appears to have come from a Ukrainian defense system intended to defend against Tuesday's Russian missile barrage. Top Pentagon officials are hoping to ease tensions after early suggestions that the missile that landed in Poland, a country that belongs to NATO, might have been fired by Russia. ABC's M. Wen has the latest from Washington. Top U.S. military officials declaring the missile that killed two people on a farm on the Polish-Ukraine border was likely not launched by Russia, but instead by a Ukrainian air defense system intended to counter a barrage of more than 90 incoming Russian missiles. Poland's President Andrzej Duda calling the incident an unfortunate accident. We're still gathering information, but we have seen nothing that contradicts President Duda's preliminary assessment. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin tamping down initial concerns that the missile strike on Poland and NATO member could have triggered a NATO military response to Russia's war on Ukraine. Whatever the final conclusions may be, the world knows that Russia bears ultimate responsibility for this incident. While Russia is denying any involvement, Ukrainian President Zelensky is also insisting it wasn't their rocket either, demanding more evidence. Joint Chiefs Chairman Mark Milley addressing Zelensky's remarks, saying the investigation into the source of the launch is still ongoing. He also condemned Russia for its attacks on Ukraine's power grids and water systems. They targeted intentionally and damaged civilian power generation facilities to cause unnecessary suffering with the civilian population. The U.S. is pledging to increase air defense support to Ukraine while providing equipment to help repair Ukraine's energy grid before winter arrives. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. Well, today is National Botox Day, and the president of Bangor Plastic and Hand Surgery is using the day to highlight the benefits of the medicine. Dr. David Branch says Botox injections block the communication between nerves and muscles, which can temporarily paralyze the muscle for a couple months before it gains its strength back. It is, uh, I think, more uh, uh, importantly used for a variety of other ailments. I mentioned one, blepharospasm. 
Uh, it's used in migraines um, uh, to weaken muscles that are around nerves that are not happy uh, having that extra muscular pressure. Dr. Branch says Botox started to be used medicinally in the 1980s for patients suffering from excessive and uncontrollable eye twitching. Today, more than 4 million people receive Botox annually. The medicine has seen more than a 450% increase in usage in the past two decades. Well, an event tomorrow night offers a rare chance to look into the minds of women from the 19th and 20th century. The Wilson Museum in Castine will host Jefferson Navicki of the Maine Women's main women's writers collection. This collection gives an intimate look into the daily lives of the women who lived in Castine through their personal diaries. So often we don't hear women's voices in the way the history is told and so identifying something like something as personal and as uh, detailed and fascinating as a diary I think is a really interesting approach to bringing women's voices in more women's voices into history. You can attend the event in person from 7 to 8 o'clock Thursday evening, or you can get a link to Zoom by emailing education at wilsonmuseum.org. We have some breaking news to tell you about coming out of the newsroom. We have received the results, official results, in the second congressional district race. Right. After the ranked choice tabulation, we can say that uh, incumbent Jared Golden, who had already declared victory, is in fact still in the lead and is the official winner. He picked up an additional 12,062 votes as a result of that ranked choice tabulation. His challenger, Bruce Poliquin, picked up roughly 4,900 additional votes. And so the totals ended up being 165,000. 136 votes for Jared Golden, 146,142 votes for Bruce Poliquin. So incumbent Jared Golden is still with an almost 20,000 vote lead and is the winner of that race. All right. And meanwhile, still to come on ABC 7 News at 6, owners, along with their staff at the Levant Corner Store, decided it was their turn to give back to their community. And in sports, here from Hudson Men's Basketball point guard Justice Thompson after he eclipsed 1,000 career points in their most recent game. That story right after the break. The Furniture Gallery's pre-Black Friday deals are here. We're fully stocked, just in time for holiday get-togethers. We've got your choice of five-piece dining sets starting at $4.49. Need extra living room seating? Sectional starting at $6.99 and recliner starting at $2.99. Long distance guests staying over? Queen mattresses as low as $2.99 with closeout mattresses up to $1,000 off. Special financing is available. Support our main family-owned business and save money. The Furniture Gallery in Augusta, Bangor, Gorham, Newport, and North Wyndham. Al, did you make that call? Honey, we already have Medicare. Why do I need to call? Alan, the Feldman said we may be able to get additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan right here in our zip code with zero dollar monthly premiums. Honey, what do you mean additional benefits? We turned 65, we got Medicare. That's all there is to it, right? I'm talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. We have traditional Medicare, which is only Medicare Parts A and B, but not Part C. Wait. So not everyone on Medicare is a Part C plan? No, that's why we need to call because there may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Parts A and B. We don't have a Medicare Part C plan which covers everything in Part A and Part B plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. What kind of extra benefits? There are great plans that may be available with extra benefits like dental, vision, and hearing. Did you say dental? Yes, dental. Medicare Part C plans could include dental benefits that help cover routine dental exams and teeth cleanings, plus dental x-rays, fillings, gum disease treatment, and dentures. We need that. I'm calling. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B, like routine dental coverage. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. You don't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now for your free 2022 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800 413 8094. 800 413 8094.
Tonight's sports is brought to you by Herman Motor Company. Whether you're looking for a new vehicle or to have your current vehicle serviced or detailed, Herman Motor Company has it all. Welcome back in, everyone. Thank you for staying with us. Let's start on the hardwood. Over at Husson, men's basketball has started the season pretty well, sitting at 2-1, and one, but dropping their most recent home game. In that one, one longtime Eagle reached a pretty significant career milestone. Ryan Sudal has that story. Husson graduate guard Justice Kendall had the crowning achievement of his career this past weekend. Against UMaine Fort Kent, he scored his 1,000th career point. A lot of work went into that, so, you know, it just felt really good, you know, getting in front of the home fans and everything, getting in front of my dad. He was here, so it meant, it meant a lot to me. Kendall, a five-year starter at Husson, joins a long list of Eagles in the 1,000-point club, and head coach Warren Caruso says it's no accident. It's kind of his overall game. I mean, he gets four points off steals, he makes a three here and there, and gets the foul line, and, you know, he can affect the game in a lot of ways. Most notably on the list are Kendall's trainer at Results Basketball, Matt McKenzie. Matt, he's been training me since I was probably a sophomore, and that definitely, you know, he's made a big strides in my game. And former teammates Justin Thompson and DJ Bussey. They definitely influenced me a lot, seeing those guys, you know, they were a year older than me, so it definitely meant a lot. You know, it's an honor, it's a privilege just to be able to be in the same, you know, category with them as far as scoring a thousand points, man. You know, I know they put in a lot of work just to do that. With Thompson and Bussey graduating, Kendall is in more of a leadership position, and Coach Warren Caruso says he's going to be in a bigger role on offense, too. I think his assist to turnover ratio is almost three to one, takes care of the ball for us, and puts guys in good spots. And as he comes into this year, he'll need to take on a little more of a scoring role than maybe previous years. But he's adjusting that role well and, and uh, finding his footing. So far, Kendall is putting up just over 13 points a game. And he says it's definitely been different. Kind of been able to kind of chill back and not have to be in a leadership role because those guys always were just good with that. Me having to step into that role has definitely been a challenge. It's been different, but I've definitely been looking forward to it and been trying to grow myself as being a leader and learning how to lead guys. Reporting for ABC 7 Fox 22, I'm Ryan Sudol. Thanks for that, Ryan. And at Husson, Bailey Donovan just scored her 1,000th point as well. We'll have that tonight. Let's talk some football now. Patriots are back after a bye week, and right now they would have a playoff spot if the season ended tomorrow, but it doesn't. When the Pats take the field Sunday, looking to sweep the season series over the Jets, they'll be beginning a stretch of three games in 12 days, with two of those games being against division opponents, one with the Jets, one with the Bills, and then you got the Vikings sandwiched in between on Thanksgiving. So a lot can happen for New England in these next few weeks in terms of solidifying themselves as contenders or not. We'll see, but as for now, they are not looking too much into the future, just focused on beating New York. Yeah, we'll have to, again, manage our time the best that we can. We know what the schedule is, and, and – uh... Certainly the Jets are highest priority, but we have to be ready for the rest of the schedule as well. And so we have different people in the organization working on different things. So uh, hopefully we'll be pretty prepared for, uh, you know, each of our opponents the remainder of the season. But Jets are, are a big priority right now. Yeah, it'll be a big win if they could pull it off on Sunday. That's all the time we have for sports right now. Here's Conrad with your full five-day forecast. Conrad? Thank you so much, Tyler. Our main weather today is brought to you by Diversified Ink Tattoo Studios in Penobscot Plaza in Bangor, providing custom ink by licensed artists for over 20 years. All right, what a messy, wintry kind of day outside today. Lots of rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, and then on top of that, some rain where warmer temperatures just made it into the region, especially closer to the coast. Look at all that green by Bangor. We had a little wintry mix at the end after some snowfall in the morning. Pretty big low pressure system, not a wide range of it, but really dense, lots of heavy precipitation, especially north. All of these blue colors indicate some heavy snow. So it is feeling like winter outside, folks. And that snow is going to continue overnight tonight and then pretty much through the morning hours tomorrow and early afternoon hours before finally starting to clear up by tomorrow night into Friday. So more snow is on the way. We're thinking maybe three to six more inches of snow is possible, especially in the most northern part of our state. 
Closer to the coast than here in Bangor, pretty much nothing. Maybe another trace and a couple of flurries that will be lingering into the overnight hours. Because of all that snow, we do have some winter storm warnings in effect until 1 a.m. on Thursday and some winter weather advisories. Same thing until 1 a.m. on Thursday, just to the south as a little bit more of a wintry mix will be mixing in and pretty much uh, stopping some of those snow accumulations from continuing to pile up, kind of like the northern part of the state. By Caribou, they might get close to a foot of snow. Temperatures, though, have been well below average. We've been spoiled with 60s all over the place the last month and a half. But look what happens now. That cold air came in, that cold front several days ago really cooled all of us off in the United States. High temperatures of only 34 degrees earlier in Bangor. So it is feeling like winter. But take a look just up north. Colder temperatures in the 20s, even a couple of lower 30s with some of that snow. It is piling up out there, folks. Take extra precautions and drive extra slow. Not only is it snowing, raining, and it's cold, but those winds are a bit on the breezy end. Take a look by the coast. Bar Harbor coming in with a 20 mile per hour wind. So with those cold temperatures, that feels like temperature is even colder. So layer up as these breezy winds will continue to stick around through the day tomorrow. And then same thing into Friday. Tonight, though, that rain will transition to a wintry mix overnight as temperatures continue to drop and hover into those upper 20s. No really accumulation will be happening by Bangor and by the coast, but just up north, closer to Caribou, it will continue to pile up. But our extended forecast outlook does show a little bit of improvement by Thursday, Friday into Saturday. All that snow will continue to melt, but take a look Sunday into Monday. More chances of snow and rain showers will be back, but temperatures will continue to cool off into those low to mid 30s. Beth and Peter. Overall, liking the sunshine and the mild temperatures. Yeah, feeling seasonably uh, chilly, but uh, yeah. overall pretty nice, like you Nothing said. Nothing we can't roll with. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, there's still more to come. Stay with us. Looking to improve or upgrade your home or place of business? With at-home furniture, appliance, and bedding, and kitchen and bath and flooring, we offer a great selection to do just that. From homeowners to commercial businesses and everything in between, our friendly professionals with more than 50 years of combined experience pride themselves in going above and beyond to work with you every step of the way. And we even offer a full-service appliance repair department. Come and visit us at our Dover Foxcroft or our new Lincoln location. Stop in either location today and see what we can do to make you feel at home. Feel the difference of alpaca apparel from the Blue Alpaca Ranch and Store in Belfast. Stop by their ranch location to interact with these amazing animals and enjoy the beautiful main outdoors with your very own alpaca walk. Shop in-store or online today and take advantage of their free nationwide shipping. With their incredible selection of socks, sweaters, hats, and more, experience the unique qualities that alpaca fiber brings with the Blue Alpaca. Feel the difference. I'm 82 years old and I have collapsed arches, which means the first thing that hits the ground is the bone in my, my arch. I came to Comfort Shoes four years ago because I couldn't walk without pain. And she spent so much time on my feet getting the right shoe and we finally found the right pair. Once you made these orthotics for me, I have no pain. These are so comfortable. I have no discomfort. I feel like I could go running. And I thank you and Comfort Shoes for that. Our Medicare supplement and drug coverage is so expensive. We're barely keeping up with our bills. My husband and I were in the same situation. So I got some help from the Senior Planning Center. They were able to show us some high quality Medicare Advantage plans that saved us a lot of money. The Senior Planning Center, tell me more. They have helpful agents all over the state. Real Mainers helping Mainers. Give them a call, the Senior Planning Center. They were there to help when it mattered most. I'm glad I called them. You'll be glad too. Clunky beige plastic or Presto. You choose. Better hearing made virtually invisible. That's the Irigo difference. 
Tonight, Donald Trump running for president again. Who will run against him on the Republican side? His former vice president saying there will be better options. The battle already. More Americans turn to the number one newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Mew. Welcome back. We often hear about the generosity of charitable organizations during the holiday season, but tonight we get to highlight the exhibit of human kindness from a small group of people making a big difference. When Jason and Jamie, along with their staff at the Levant Corner Store, decided it was their turn to give back to the community, they put together Thanksgiving dinner bags with all the fixings for anyone that needed a little extra help. It's a hard time. Everyone's struggling. Uh, small store here in the community. Our customers are super important to us, their support, uh, do a little bit to give back, just show that we're here, we've got your back, and we know that if anyone here needed anything, the community would do the same for anyone here. And they say if you need a little help and you live in the Levant area, you can ask a cashier at the corner store if they have any more dinner bags available. And Jason and Jamie say to consider it a thank you from one neighbor to another. Just an awesome gesture of kindness from them. And we're seeing quite a few of those efforts to make sure that everybody has a great meal for Thanksgiving. So here's hoping those efforts are successful. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us, folks, from everybody here at ABC7. Take care. Good night. Good night.